Well, hey there, I am in the desert today, the southern Mojave Desert to be exact. Now that's over the mountains from LA, northeast, uh, kind of on your way to Vegas, but a little bit off to the side. Uh, I have come to find a very, very old plant. Uh, so let's see if we can find it. Looks like we have arrived. Gotta love the dirt roads, nice and smooth. Hey, so I've made it to the Southern Mojave Desert and this particular area of the desert beyond this fence where I've come to see a creosote bush like one of these that you see dotted all over the desert. But this one is particularly special. Let's go and have a look as to why. So this is the creosote bush. Incredibly hardy plants. They can go two years easily without water. They also produce a whole multitude of chemicals and funny stuff and uh, that keeps anything that might eat them away. Uh, they probably taste horrible. The other really cool thing, and this is a theory, is that some of what they produce keeps each other, each other creosote plant at a reasonable distance away so that they can all survive. And it's really interesting to look on aerial photos of the desert because you'll see these plants are very regularly spaced over the desert floor. You can see with these two bushes, they're clearly distinct plants, but they're starting to spread out on the ground. You can see lots of different uh, branches coming up out of the ground. They were all originally the one stem of plant. Now, sometimes you'll see clusters of these bushes together like this in a little ring shape, much closer than the more regularly spaced single bushes. So what's going on there? That's exactly what I've come to see. You see, the creosote bush is a clonal organism. What that means is as the central part of the plant dies off and the outer parts of the plant still survive, that process gradually spreads apart and you have clones of the old central bush that would have been here gradually move out at a rate of less than a millimetre per year, making a circular ring of clones. And that's exactly what King Clone is. Researchers got excited some years ago when they were looking at aerial photographs of the land, I think for uh, maybe oil pipelines or something, and they saw this big ellipse of bushes about 20 metres by 8 metres. They came and investigated and they discovered King Clone. They dated it using a couple of different tests, 11,700 years old. This one large clonal organism of a plant system dating back to the time of the last ice age. King Clone now sits on protected land behind this fence. There's about 17 acres here and the clonal system is in there. I'm not going to go and disturb it. It would be easy to, but that's the whole point of this fence is to keep people out and to make sure that King Clone can remain intact for another 11,000 years. So there you have it, the humble creosote bush, one of the hardiest and oldest plants in the world. <laughs>